Hey guys, what's going on? Angry Joe, other Joe here. We are in Poland for a Witcher event. That's why we weren't able to get this out sooner because a fucking new trailer came out for Star Wars. A lot of shit is happening while we're gone. We just said, fuck it, we're gonna flip it on with our shitty fucking <laughs> laptop uh, webcam and do a trailer reaction and impressions for you and give you our thoughts on the trailer. All right, Joe? Let's, let's fucking check it out. Me too. <laughs> the force is strong in my family. My father has it. I have it. My sister has it. You have that power, too. Fucking awesome. We oh my god, that was fucking cool. That that's the best that's that's a trailer. That's how you do a trailer, alright? There was some other trailer that came out. Nah, -uh, that's how you do a trailer. Um God, what is what was what was Han Solo talking about? We're home. Where is Han Solo from? And he still looks fucking badass all these years later. All right, let's go through this because we don't want to ruin it for you. Uh, us talking over it, so let's go through it sort of scene by scene and give you our impressions. Um, this is oh such a good fucking opening scene, Joe. I want to live in a derelict Star Destroyer out in the desert. Obviously, this is where um, it takes over after I defeated you and you crash-landed. What are you talking about? Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Star, Mar Star Wars Armada? Oh, fuck you! <laughs> Joe's I'm talking about this you, miniatures man. game that this we were playing. This is where you landed and now Shut the fuck over. up. <laughs> I was the Imperials and he destroyed my Star Destroyer, so I guess... Shut up! Um, but man, if a Star Destroyer actually did slam into a planet, it'd be like a fucking nuclear bomb so yeah. this thing must have already been in low orbit or something or or really close to the ground and they were having a, a space battle <laughs> five feet no more like 500 <laughs> feet or something <laughs> just fucking crashing in here just the imagery uh is fucking awesome it reminds me of uh, the force unleashed when a star killer brought down a, a star destroyer so really fucking cool loving that obviously the empire is in ruins mm -hmm. um and holy fuck. And then the, me and Joe were like, what the fuck? How is that fucking possible? Yeah. I thought that Darth Vader took his helmet off in the Star Destroyer before he died. A Star Destroyer. Death Star before he died. And then the fucking thing exploded, right? So did his helmet, like, fucking fall out of the... the you know, what? I don't get... What? It, am I wrong? Am I remembering I mean, Return... Answers. Do I remember Return of the Jedi wrong? Didn't he... Didn't then they leave him there <laughs> and then he exploded. He was like, "Get out of here! I just want to look at you with my own eyes." I have no idea we'll how it's possible it that we're we're still seeing this. But okay, yeah, somebody in the comments fucking tell us because we don't understand. But that that leads to another point. It's like who is leading the uh, the empire right now? Uh, obviously, De Darth Vader death confirmed. Empire Emperor death confirmed. Who Darth the fuck Maul is leading? 
Death confirmed. Darth Maul death confirmed. Oh, he's not. Yes. And then this character, I'm like, who the fuck is this? Uh, who has a robot hand, Joe, that we know, huh? Luke Skywalker. <laughs> However, this hand looks too young, looks too bone. Oh, no, yeah, no, because the robot yeah. hand will maybe goes up a little bit, so that's why it looks more metallic. May I'm, I'm hoping that, that Luke, that's Luke Skywalker. Saying hello to R2-D2. And this is fucking cool. Female hands grabbing a lightsaber. We're going to get our first uh, female... Je well, it's not the first because we've seen them in the background. But what I mean is like a main character female Jedi kicking ass center stage. Christmas, that's going to be fucking crazy. Um, you know, it's already uh, terrible trying to fight the crowds watching uh, movies you know, on Christmas. Like, you know, Hobbit was around then. Aliens vs. You remember when Aliens vs. Predator <laughs> Requiem was on Christmas? Yeah. That was a weird movie to come out on Christmas. But this one's a cool one because once you open your presents, you got one more big present left. Yeah. Fucking Star Ooh. Wars. The way it should be. Oh, oh my God. And I fucking love this thing. He's having yes, fun. Yes, He's did. having fun. Yeah. We see the fucking, oh, we see that, um, that bastard oh, sword, wow. that long sword in action. Uh, obviously, we've got our Imperial character here who we think, you know, realizes he's the undercover. light. He's a spy. You think he's on the... He's a spy. No, Joe. Okay, and one more thing. Put this in here. Forgot to talk about BB. BB-8 over there. Uh, he's rolling yeah, in the yeah, background. looks like he's about to start dancing. Yeah. Oh. 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 No, no. But, Joe, I have to fucking show you this. BB-8 is fucking real. No. Yes. No. In Star Wars Celebration... Okay, check this out. Okay, you got R2-D2 here. This was actually at the Star Wars Celebration. Boom! He's fucking rolling! How does that Rolling, stay rolling. <laughs> I know, right? It's magic. How's the fucking top part staying yes. on? It's, it can't be on just no. a track because the whole thing is fucking rolling. Yeah. But look at how fucking awesome that is, Joe. I... At first, I thought he was a joke, and and but now he's so fucking charming, dude. Look at the little guy. He's all, you know, the crowd is going crazy for him, and R two D two is like, get out of here, sir. Nobody likes me anymore. They didn't like this little guy. Man. Dude, the chicks are gonna go crazy for BB, dude. He's like, he if that's the kind of little cute comedy relief that was in the, the prequels, it would have been cool. Not not fucking Jar Jar Binks, but this guy. Oh. And I, now I'm a huge BB-8 fan to see that it's not fucking CGI, that it's real, that's and that's awesome, though. it's just a unique and a concept, and that's the kind of stuff we need in the Star Wars, like these future texts that's real possible. And um, yeah, he's totally stealing the spotlight from R2-D2 totally, right now. Totally. You could tell R2-D2 wants to use his little hands, bitch, slap, BB, shut up. <laughs> yeah. Alright, he was on the wrong side. Oh, and then we've got our main fucking Sith, Kylo Ren. We have no idea who the fuck this guy is, but it appears that he's leading a, a fucking uh, detachment, an army here. Um, I think his mask design is fucking cool, but I want to know what his face looks like. Hopefully we get to see that. Or not, because that would be fucking mysterious and, and cool, right? He doesn't even have his lightsaber engaged the hilt engaged here, so obviously you, He's you've not got too worried. yeah multiple. Not too worried. <laughs> no, it's like, oh shit's about he to only, get real. <laughs> he only does that when shit gets real. Man, it's possible. Uh, is this guy leading the empire now? Because obviously with Darth Vader gone, empire gone, oh. the moths. You would think the moths would be fighting each other. I bet you this guy shows up and and bitch slaps all the moths and says, "We're fucking doing this. We're gonna like, you know follow I'm me." I'm the captain now. That's what he says. <laughs> I'm the captain now. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Probably. And I don't know who this guy is. I want to say maybe uh, a, a, an apprentice of Darth Vader that we didn't know about. Star Killer. No, it's Kylo Ren. But we don't know shit about Kylo Ren. Um, could even be one of the Emperor's you know, disciples that got lost or was in training mm -hmm. far away. Who knows? Somebody tell us. The redesigns of the fucking stormtroopers. Digging them. Digging them. Beautiful. It, it it seems like a natural evolution, and already I can tell that what was that, the eight oh eight or something that had those guys that have all badass re, like armor and shit. And I wore that armor back in that video that me and Joe played Star Wars Armada. It was it was, it was it was a bitch to get on pieces. We're all over the place, but I'm sorry, Joe. I want to buy one of these. 
Somebody start making these armors <laughs> right now. I want to fucking jump in it. And Someone's going to have it on. Yeah, as if I couldn't like the Empire anymore. We're going black and red. There's a lot of black and red for the Empire, so I'm even more an Imperial than I ever was. Oh, that dude got... One. Yes, look at that guy. That dude got fly. fucked. Look there in the middle. Ah! <laughs> okay, so something... Oh, shit. Something is happening here. I love the new TIE Fighters. They're like a black and white scheme. Yet again, angry Joe colors. And something's going on. It looks like a TIE Fighter is, is just fucking the shit up. And I think this is actually... Um, our, our character here, the, the turncoat who goes from the spy. Imperials to... He's not a spy, Joe. <laughs> he, I can guarantee he's not a spy. He's going to the rebel side. and um, But this guy's like the master of like... That's how he got his job. They're inhaling. Like, act like you're out of breath. That's our winner. That's our winner. <laughs> yeah, his acting skills required him to be... Oh, we got a new fucking Star Destroyer here. This one looks bulkier. Um, the, the command center looks lowered and, and pushed back so no goddamn A-wings can slam into them. You've got a, like a growth on the bottom or a big unit on the bottom. Maybe that's a um, hyperspace dampener for you guys in the extended universe. You know what I'm talking about, Jack? Yes, no. He doesn't know what I'm talking about. But basically, it, it shuts off hyperspace, so it traps you there. We've got a bunch of shuttles, a cool shuttle. Oh! Oh my god, so are we getting so a new... you want that suit then? No, I'm, I'm switching it. <laughs> I forgot about this suit. I'm switching it to this suit. Look at his cape, red and black. He's got... It, is this the dark troopers that we never saw in the Looks original? Like it, it does look like a that trooper. Ass, are, is he... Is he the, our new... Is he our new Boba Fett? Is it, you know, does Boba Fett come back? Now that I think about it, Boba Fett comes, bitch slaps this guy. What you doing? Huh? Uh, no, no, because I want to know who this is. God, there's so much cool Imperial yeah, stuff. It, it seems Imperial Obviously, focused rather than, um, you, you like know. like his cape? It, rather than rebel focused. Red and black? Yeah, I, I said that already, Joe. You're, you're on point. Did you see the windows in the back? It's got that retro feel from the the original uh, movies, and it's looking like it should, appropriately. So there's the... <laughs> out of breath oh, yeah. again. Out of breath again. There's the hand extended, and this is symbolic. That's when he's like, all right, fuck the Imperials, I'm with you. And then, of course, the Millennium Falcon. Now, I don't know if you saw that. It was a little quick there. There's a, there was a little egg, Easter egg there, and pe people had picked up on the Easter egg there. So if you see that, you see that no. thing down there. Well, check it out. <laughs> Man, we ain't found shit. That's uh, from Spaceball. We ain't found shit. Comb the desert for the rebels. <laughs> No, so that's that's not really in it, but yeah, it looked no like way. it. Um, of course, some more red and black here. The pilots look fucking awesome. I'm, here's the thing that I love the most is it doesn't look all fucking CGI. This is real shit. You remember in the prequels, it's like fucking all the troopers were CGI. There's just something about CGI right right now that you just can't do you know, army characters out of it and, and feel like, wow, that's real, the war. And this this feels like dirt and grime, explosions flying up everywhere. Um, of course, his shit looks pretty clean and fancy. Yeah. He's an ace or something. <laughs> and then the big reveal, of course, okay. we're home. So, hell yes. He still looks like a badass. Yes, he's aged, but come on, it's I'm fucking... Sure he has it. No, that's that's right. You know, well, you'd you expect not, Chewie. Not one single strand of gray hair. <laughs> you'd expect Chewie to have some gray. That's a good point, Joe. Uh, but I guess Chewie ages slower than Han, so he's probably going to outlive his buddy. And now that the expanded universe, by the way, is no longer canon, they, we have no idea what's going to happen to Chewie because, spoiler alert, Chewie doesn't quite make, make it, but it goes out in spectacular fashion, uh, gets hit by a... Anyways, uh, you'll see in the comments if you really want to know. But that that no longer happens, so we have no idea. Is Chewie going to make it? Is Han Solo going to make it? How how many movies uh, more are they going to have in here? Jeez. And the Empire is fucking destroyed, so I bet you Han Solo is like this fucking badass and, and everybody thinks he's legendary and Chewie's fucking legendary, so I can't wait to see him meet up with the characters that we already had. It looks like uh, the new characters that we have, that, that chick and um, the Imperial guy who, who's a turncoat. It looks like we're in the um, uh, Millennium Falcon here, and boom. 
That was that's how you do a trailer. That's a I'm good fucking trailer. I'm it, obviously. I'm going. <laughs> it it seems like all the all, all the right things are being done with this Star Wars. And it's amazing to me that this feels more Star Wars than George Lucas's <laughs> other ones, right? Now George Lucas is just an advisor and I think that's where he excels. So he's probably doing good stuff, um, but putting it in other people's hands um, who are trying to uh, do a perfect homage uh, to the to the originals um it's looking good and it's this fucking year december do you think people are gonna line up like they did remember you remember for yeah, phantom menace yes. like i'm more excited for this people should be more excited for this than the phantom menace so if they lined up what was it like three months ahead of time and can't go intense yeah. i know right that was in a different time that was like yeah. what the 90s or no the 2000s but now it's like 15 years later. We got social media that spoils people everything. Outside, trailers. Yeah. People and people don't go outside. <laughs> you know, Or no, they'll probably take their iPads and shit. So yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments. Are people going to line up three months early or do they don't do that shit no more? We'll see. I mean, I know I'm definitely going to go see it fucking day one. Maybe day one. After when I fight the crowds. Presents. After all, nobody buys me presents anymore. <laughs> That's what? why I'm going. Well, I don't buy nobody. I'm all old now. I don't get presents. I'll I know your you family. Presents. You get, you get your, you know. I'll get your, you presents. Thank you. Some tickets. Uh, I get you two tickets. All right. You better take me. I'm so. <laughs> I'll <laughs> take you now. You jerk. I am excited about Star Wars. It's nothing but good things that we've seen. Obviously, we do want to. I mean, we are rolling this hype train, but we do want to. Uh, wait and see the movie and see how good it is. Yeah. But all signs are pointing to J.J. Abrams really doing this. Doing, uh, it some justice. doing it some justice. And you know what? I know Disney's getting fucking out of control with it. They're like announced like fucking six movies. Here's They want to do a new trilogy and then there's like three more spinoffs. But you know what? If they're all done at this quality level, I'll still go. then I'm for it. You know, <laughs> they're, they're going to do a whole like rebel, like what is it? Rogue One or... Something like that that just focuses on the rebels and shit and like uh, with new characters and stuff. So, oh, so much to look forward to yeah. coming in Star Wars. And I'm so glad it's at the end of this year that we're going to see it. All right, guys, uh, give us your thoughts, your comments. Who the fuck is Kylo Ren and is he leading the Empire? Uh, because if so, I will pledge my allegiance if he gives me one of those bastard sword uh, lightsabers. All right, see you guys on the next. No, wait, before I do that. Joe, talking about creative lightsabers, I'm going to throw this at you. Joe, what kind of creative lightsaber would you have if you were a, a Jedi or a Sith? Because mine would totally be the Bastard Sword. Think Morning of all different weapons. Would you just be like a Morning Star flail and just like a little <laughs> glowing orb? I would have nunchuck lightsabers. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck would you hold the other end? <laughs> Special gloves? <laughs> Only I can hold them, alright? Only I can. Nobody takes my weapon. Alright, all right, Disney, don't fucking take our ideas. Uh, nunchuck lightsabers. You got to pay me another just money if you want to use it. But, I don't know, just email us and maybe we'll let you use it for free. Alright, later guys. See you on the next Angry Joe Show.